Today, we're reviewing the Rad Wagon 4, a long-tail cargo electric bike from Rad Power that's perfect for taking your kids on a ride or hauling groceries and other cargo. In this video, we'll be testing the bike with kids, cargo, and looking at different specs, features, and mentioning a couple drawbacks. We'll also be showing you some of the best accessories that you should know about for this cargo e-bike. We'll put links to the best price and deals, so be sure to check the description along with all the accessories we featured in this video. The Radwagon 4 is available from Rad Power's website and has a starting price of $2,000, and you can choose between three different colors, orange, black, or white. For shipping and setup, you can choose to have your bike shipped and assemble it yourself, or have it assembled and pick it up at a local bike shop for an extra $200. They even have a mobile service available in certain cities through VeloFix, which will deliver the bike fully assembled for $250. We chose to get ours shipped and assemble it ourselves, and it ships in a large box, and inside you'll find the bike neatly packaged. For assembly, you'll need to install the handlebar, front wheel, and the front mud flaps. It's pretty straightforward, and Rad Power has a great installation video that shows you how to do it step by step. For the design of the Rad Wagon 4, it features an aluminum frame with quality welds throughout. The wheels are 22 inches in diameter and 3 inches wide, which allows for a lower center of gravity and overall helps the balance of the bike. The seat has a telescoping seat post, which allows the seat to go either really low or much higher up. So it's good for riders as short as 5'1 and as tall as 6'4. We also really like the swept-backed handlebars, which is quickly adjustable to different heights and angles by lifting a lever. This makes it perfect to switch it up for different riders on the go. Looking at specs, the Radwagon 4 has a 750-watt motor built into the rear wheel. For top speed, it can get up to 20 miles per hour and has plenty of power, so you'll be able to climb hills without an issue. The bike gives you up to five pedal assist modes, which you can change using the up and down buttons on the left. You also have a Shimano seven speed shifter and derailleur outfitted on the bike. To accelerate, you can also use the twist throttle on the right hand side, and it's live from start, so you don't need to pedal if you don't want to. For brakes, the Radwagon 4 has Tektro mechanical disc brakes in the front and rear, which you can count on to bring you to a quick stop. The battery is a 48 volt pack with 672 watt hours, and it's located on the front of the frame. You can easily remove the battery with a key lock to bring it inside to charge, which plugs into a standard wall outlet and takes four to six hours to charge. For range, you can get between 25 to 45 miles per charge, which is dependent on how much cargo you're carrying, how fast you ride, and how much pedal assist or throttle you use. The max payload of the Radwagon 4 is up to 350 pounds, which is a good amount of weight to carry. Looking at the cargo area of the bike, the base model comes with just the wood deck, but you do have a bunch of different configurations and accessories you can add to customize your wagon. For passengers, you can add deck pads, running boards, or the caboose, which gives additional stability and security for your kiddos or cargo. Loading up your kids, you place the bike on the kickstand, which has two legs and is made of steel, so it's super strong. It's so steady that it allows the kids to load themselves without worrying about tipping over. The kickstand is also spring-loaded, so it's quick to engage or fold up. We got ours with the running boards, caboose, and a deck pad. This allows you to have one passenger while still having space to fit a crate to load some gear. Rad Power also sells accessories like the deckhand, that's a bicycle-like grip for a kid in the rear, or cargo bags for hauling gear on the sides. And we even got to test the Konis Togo add-on, which attaches to the caboose and creates full protection from rain or wind for your passengers. It has front, back, and side windows, which creates visibility in all directions. The inside has a small mesh pocket, while the outside has a large rear pocket for extra storage. You even have the ability to fold up the side doors to create more airflow. For other specs on this bike and added features, include the backlit LCD screen that will display battery, speed, odometer, trip distance, and the current pedal assist mode you're in. There's also a watt meter, so you know how much power you're using from the battery. And they also include a USB port on the side so you can plug in and charge your phone, which is a nice bonus. For lights, the Radwagon 4 has both front and rear LED lights, 
We really like the front headlight that's bright, along with the rear that also functions as a brake light. The lights are always on by default when you turn on the bike, but you can toggle the lights by holding the up arrow. Now for a few potential drawbacks that we noticed on the Radwagon 4. First, there's no suspension, either front or back, so you'll definitely feel any large bumps and cracks in the road. So we do recommend sticking to the streets and bike paths. Also, since the tires are 22 inches and 3 inches wide, this is actually a custom size, so tube replacements will be harder to find. So your local bike shop might not have those tubes in stock, unless they're a Rad Power seller. But you can always buy spare tubes directly from Rad Power. Finally, we think that if you're planning on using the Rad Wagon for kids, the price of the kid carrier for the two deck pads, running boards, and caboose will cost you an extra $379, and it's a little steep. When compared to Radio Flyer's new L885 cargo e-bike, it has a kid carrier with a dual function design, so you can zip it up and store cargo in the basket, and it's a little cheaper than Rad Power with a better design. So if you're interested in checking out different cargo e-bike options, be sure to watch our comparison video on the Radwagon 4 versus Radio Flyer L885 next.